wonderful, wonderful event. The name of the next session is Shaking Up Different Strategies. I want to call to the stage a person who is going to moderate this session. He is the head of research strategy at the Blavatnik, Blavatnik ICRC at the Tel Aviv University, and he's also the general manager of Cybersecurity Solutions Group at Dell EMC. Please welcome to the stage Superstar Cyber, Dr. Yanivare. Good morning, and it's great to be here with you again on this stage. We are talking here about shaking up defense strategies. And this is really the session that uh, we expect you to take things later to think about them. These are, this is a session that will combine technologies and other ideas to share, uh, to share with you. But uh, let's start with a kind of a break on this, on this week, we have to give a few minutes to the World Cup in Russia. Who follows this World Cup? Good. So we have to spend a minute about, the, about this. So let's remind ourselves one minute of the last Friday's uh, game between Spain and Portugal. <laughs> Yeah, so how this is connected to our discussion. Sometimes we find revolutions that really combine a technology change and other fundamental changes. And this week we have one like this in the soccer area. We have for years the decision of the referee is something absolute. When the referee decides something, there, there are no questions later. By the way, even if there is a mistake, there are no questions, it, it is absolute. But this uh, week we have for the first time, as part of the World Cup, a change in the, I would call it regulation, in the procedure, of how referees are taking their decisions in the fact that we can, by technology, judge better the decisions, and now the referee's decision it is, is not total, it is not absolute. We have a new technology called VAR, which is Video Assistant Referee, that actually helps to the referee to make the decision. This is fundamental change. Now it's not only the referee, but a combination of the referee with another system and sometimes with several assistants, referees outside the, 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 the play, the game, the, the stadium. This is really a change that uh, makes different the referee's decision. And let's see a moment how it works in a, another game that was in the last uh, Friday between France and Australia. Please. We can see here how the situation wasn't clear. The referee goes to the system, take its assistant, and later come back to the, to the groups and show what is the decision based on this system. Yeah, and later was the, the goal for France, by the way. So this change is just an example of another area of the soccer, and I don't know how many here uh, feel the real change in this, uh, in this area based on this uh, technology. But when we talk about the cyber, so we have also such uh, changes in our uh, arena, in our industry. We find sometimes that our assumptions, our strategies and our technologies are not 
uh, updated anymore, or we have to change them, or we have to challenge them. These are the, the moments that we have to decide and to do kind of a balance between our relations and feelings about the, the present or the current technologies or strategies that we so like and we have defined them by ourselves and the new ones that we have to adopt based on our conclusions. We in the cyber solutions of Dell EMC that we involve in projects and in solutions, we have such uh, decisions every uh, month and, uh, and quarter. We have, by, while using other technologies and other uh, uh, third-party technologies on top of ours, we have to decide what is the next technology, what is the, the next company that we want to, to work with or to bring the technology to our project. If it's a third project, if it's a, a, another a SOC or, a, or another solution, for protecting or for malware detection or for any, any other type of uh, these uh, uh, challenges. And when we ask uh, ourselves, it's really a question to identify sometimes the right technology early before it become really a trend and many and uh, thousands other participants using this uh, technology. These are the questions that we are going to face uh, in these uh, sessions and you know, we have so many technologies, ideas, and companies that uh, try to claim that their ideas are the ones to adopt, the one that's going to be the next uh, thing that is really part of our challenges to be able to kind of work together and think together what is really the next technology, what is really the next uh, strategy that we want to adopt and to put as part of our next solutions, projects, systems, and uh, cyber ideas. So with that uh, point, we'll start with our, uh, with our uh, session, and uh, I would like to invite to the stage our first speaker, who is Steve Bessie, the CEO of Polystorm. So Steve, please come to the stage. <clears throat> Thanks, Doc. 